Lai Lai Lai. Today I'm going to show you how to use the iSailor program. Uh, it's an iSailor app. Okay, it's on uh, iPad. Okay, it's only applicable for iOS. I mean, all the Apple stuff. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use iSailor because some of the rust about they becoming like a fisherman now, where during their off time and make a lot of money by doing fishing. And this apps itself, it can help you to save some fuel and also at least you know how to go to the sea and know the way back. Okay, instead of guessing okay some of them is still guessing they based by probably by sun also by by landmark or by their experience but some of them of course nowadays all the fishermen they have gps with them so what you need to do is just to buy an ipad okay ipad just like this and make sure it's having gps inbuilt the reason i suggest ipad because you only can use apple and screen is bigger okay if you have money you can buy ipad pro which is a lot bigger but which is expensive I um, not recommend that, you just use a normal iPad right? and then you buy, make sure you tell the sales bank or sales girl say you want the iPad come with GPS uh, the reason also I recommend for iPad because iPad the battery can long last obviously uh, this is just apps to help you to uh, go into the sea with a safe route and also you can save some fuel also so you don't go here and there trying to aim to the land and you know go somewhere and then have to turn to port to starboard again just to get back to your to your base yeah okay today i'm going to show you um okay cassidy is one of the assistant driller and he also very much interested with iceland so i make this so everybody can see over the youtube okay let's go to the app store okay click app store all right and then you just search for iceland Okay, iSailor, then you can see uh, the apps logo is kind of like a sailing boat, okay, sailing boat, and it calls Watsila iSailor, right, then you just download it, because I already downloaded, so I just open up, okay, open, okay, so the first step is, uh, when you open up, it's blank, you can't see even the charts, like you see the square box and all this, this is a charts that I already purchased. So when you open up, everything is blank and then you don't have any information at sea. So you need to buy charts. Right? Last time we sail on a foreign going ship, you know, we, do, we need to buy a chart. A chart is like one piece to cover that small area is like $25. I sell it only selling per country. Sometimes if you live in a small country like Malaysia, so you can get like coverage like three to four countries in one chart where they sell it for like $30, $32, which is considered cheap for a year usage. Né? So a year usage, if you go frequently go for fishing and all this, you can save some fuel already. I mean, it will be more than that if you don't know the direction and you know where you're going to and you have to look around and come back to the land. That will lose a lot of fuel, right? So now the first step is you go to setting here. Yeah. Then you go to chart store right and then you can see a lot of charts around all right so then you have to scroll through uh, whichever country that you you stay and let's say like we in Malaysia okay you can see that it's a coverage uh, for Malaysia you just click on the box there coverage box and you can see see now it's become blue color so that is Thailand Malaysia Indonesia Singapore so this chart is covering for four countries for $32 in a year I think it's worth it to invest on this, right? Then you just click and buy and you pay. Once you pay the, the money and obviously the chart will appear on the iSailor. Okay, that's for me, you can see the update. So sometimes on a regular basis, if there is some correction, chart correction on the, on the chart itself, and they will send update for you. Just click update and you update. So that if there's a new rag or new hazards that appear, ship sound or what, you know, then you know that is a rag there and a navigation hazard which is updated on the chart so now we access the store because i already bought the chart and i assume that you already have the charts on iSailor so don't be afraid if you have any problem on iSailor by all means just put down your comment on video description there or on the comments or the video comment and then i will whenever i have time i will try to answer you okay then let me exit the chart store let's jump into how to create a route before you depart from your fishing base and going to the sea so let me show you how to do it for an example huh? so just because of Cassidy right Cassidy is a assistant driller he normally do fishing and now he owns a lot of boats and doing 
become like a business for him okay so now let's start I just click on this and you come up and create a new new route okay when you start to create a new route okay then you you bring the cursor of the flex to the base let's say your base is here at global right just click here and then how to go to the next waypoint is put a plus sign and then you click on the the route that you're going to let's say here all right and then plus and then you add because you you don't want to go to shallow area so you go to the blue area you can see the what the depth is like 0 0.1 meter 0 0.9 meter 0 point, which is for a fishing boat which is good enough okay then if you want to look at a uh, bigger picture then you just zoom out a bit and then you go to outside then you plus all right then you plus okay then you plus again then if you let's say this is normally where you are fishing let's say this is the the final destination then you click plus and put tick click tick on it. that's it so so you have generate a route from the base to the sea now we need to make it better look better right so you want to go make sure that you don't go aground right so you just check on the on the route itself and you can see from here okay you see this is the waypoint that is touching it's already touching uh, the shallow area is 0 0.3 so we don't want that then we click on the waypoint itself then we click this this icon and then we just click add additional uh, uh, waypoint right so now we just make sure that our our route is clear from the shadow patch right so then we adjust it nicely and we click plus then you you will see additional waypoint in between okay so now this is the the route that you are going from the base all the way outside right so from here how do we know that we can go a bit shorter route right so how to make a shorter route means okay let, let's check on this area and and you can see uh, actually we can from from the waypoint one to waypoint waypoint three we went to the web point three, sorry, and then from there actually we can cut a little bit of corner, right? So cut, I'll say cut corner, make make it shorter road. Then we click on the web point three, and then we bring it down a bit. Then click on this icon, then we bring it down a bit, right? So from here, okay. So then click tick, right? So now from web point three to web point four, web point five. Let's check whether there's any navigation hazard. If you look at this, see this. This is the rack. which indicate on. Uh, which you see, if I click on the on the rack itself, information you can see is the least depth is unknown. So it's dangerous, right? So it's it's dangerous to navigate. So we don't want to go through all this rack rack stuff here. Okay, then we need to check our road is clear, 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 clear until the destination of waypoint number five. So if you can see from waypoint 3, waypoint 4, waypoint 5, you no need waypoint 4 anymore because in between the road there is no hazard. Then we click on the icon, then we delete off number 4 and click tick. See? And that's it, you know. So this is from waypoint 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So your by final destination will be at waypoint number four right so this is the place that normally they say they usually go for fishing so you end up there as you can see it's so easy to create a passage plan and during the usage you know you can see uh, you can zoom in you can see your ship is actually moving you know blah, 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 all the way and you know you know where you are you're heading to in fact from waypoint two, waypoint three after in the middle you can cut a little bit out and then you can go straight to your destination also can let's go to the route again that we make okay you go to info click info and then you can change the route name right you can change to uh, let's say Kuala Baram to my favorite fishing heaven okay all right then you can see the distance is 15.4 uh, with the average speed of 3.5 knot but this is all your setting okay you can change the setting and all this huh? so time departure what time and now you can change it what time you depart 
and all. But this is not really important. It's the important one is the passage, and you know how far you travel. If you're, I say the total distance right now is fifteen point four, meaning to say if you are moving like ten knots in an hour, so you will take like one and a half hours to arrive there. Okay, so this is. The, the information of your route right then you go to road waypoint okay then you can check see this is your first waypoint where you are and then this is your second waypoint third waypoint fourth waypoint you know fifth waypoint you know even though you can put uh, use this uh, lat latitude longitude just to tell your friend where you are then they can use the ice sailor and come there to meet you as well so this waypoint uh, you can use it and normally we can like waypoint 2 you can make it round figure if you want like final destination you want to make it round figure also can just put zero four four zero minutes zero zero second okay make it round figure so your your friend also easy to to get a let long point one one three forty five minutes zero zero second okay that's it all right then this is your final waypoint all right so it's very easy to use. Uh, if you want to come back to your hometown, you can just make the road reverse. Then you can see, see? So, okay, this is before we reverse. You can see the arrow is going this way, right? Going to the destination. And when you finish from your fishing haven, you want to go back to your hometown, then you just reverse it, then it becomes reverse, right? So that's when you can see where you are heading to, to your, to your home base, okay? Then you can, sell fish make a lot of money again you know okay so that that that's all from me and i hope this video is useful for you uh, it's a simple one you can play around with the iceiller apps itself oh yeah before i forget if you like this video please subscribe to the channel to support the content okay thank you